family. Welcome back to my channel. Emily, do you want to say hi? We're having a very uh, low-key day today. The sun's coming in, the sun's coming out. I'm leaving for New York tomorrow early in the morning and we're just like, I feel like we're behind, but we're also okay. It's just kind of a weird, kind of a weird vibe. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but the sun is like coming and going and I'm like, ah, ah. I don't know, it's like, I can't decide what my mood is today. Um, I'm very hungry. How are you guys doing? Do Let's do a little uh, wellness check-in below. Comment and let me know like how you're coming into the space today that we're sharing and like how you're feeling and what's going on for you. I'm just excited to be here. I have had several try-ons that I have wanted to post and shoot for a while and it just feels like I can't catch up. And you know what's getting me? Do you know, do you see the sun? She's back. You know what's getting me? Is the fact that the days are getting so much shorter and I'm used to being able to shoot until like six, seven even sometimes. And all of a sudden the sun goes down at six and I take my little walk at night and it's kind of, I feel like it makes me feel like I have less time in the day, which I kind of actually do if you think about it. If I like to try to end my day with a little walk and if I try to like use the light to shoot, like my days are shorter. And so I think I'm kind of feeling that stress a little bit and it feels really freaking weird that it's November already. Look, my little friend is here riding his bike in the driveway. <laughs> anyway, everything's fine. I just saw him like outside. I didn't get to see him trick or treat last night. Anyway, yesterday was Halloween here, so by the time this goes live, it'll be a few days. But anyway, I'm not gonna chat so much. I'm just, I think I'm just excited to be here. So, hi. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm a little bit chaotic. Like things just kind of, we, we go with the flow. We, we say what we feel. This is a safe space for all the things, for accepting ourselves and loving ourselves, but also being honest with what we're feeling. So today I have a try on. Um, yeah, I picked out some pieces from Abercrombie and they've been sitting like on my little rack and I wouldn't let myself try them on, even though some of them were so cute. So we get to do it together today. Let's do it. I'm gonna be trying everything on today in a 33, and this is the 90 Slim Straight Ultra High Rise. And the Curve Love jeans have a little bit more room in like the thighs, and they have like, um, they're made to not gap as much in the waist, but they give a little bit of extra room in like the booty and the thighs. If you're wondering the fit difference, it took me a while to figure it out. Both Emily and I have been having some emotionally confusing times trying on their jeans because we wore the same size forever and then all of a sudden their, their fit was changing and like some I couldn't even get up if you guys remember in the last video. So I've been a little apprehensive to try them again. But you know what, whatever happens, happens. We're here, we're doing it together. It's gonna be fine. I need to remember the name of things that I don't like because I think this is the same style that gave me trouble last time. And it's something about the fit of this. Like, I don't love them. They're not quite like skinny jeans and they're not quite like wide jeans. I don't know what's going on with these and I don't love it. I don't like the way they feel here. Like they're tight and constricting, but like, I don't know. Like I'm confused. They look good on the butt. They do look good on the butt. They're like one of those jeans that I feel like if I were to like break in, that I might like them. But right now they just feel too snug here. And it's weird because I feel like they're, you know what it is? I'm used to like my my snug jeans hitting like higher because these hit like right at the belly button. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I like these a lot better. These are the vintage flare high rise. These are the same size. And I think that they hug right around the waist so nicely. And I think they look killer on the butt. Uh, I was just saying, I wish they were a little longer. Oh, you know what? These are regular. These aren't long. I thought I ordered long, but they must not have had it because I think I would like these a lot better if they were just a little longer and I'm tall, but I still really like the fit of these. These are also curve love and they really just like hug in all the right places. Like they look bomb. They actually look really, really, really good. Gosh darn. I wish they were just long enough. Ugh, the battle of my life. Can't have it all. But again, these are the vintage flare high rise. I think the size is perfect, especially as they kind of wear in a little bit. They're a lot more comfortable than the other ones. Okay, now I'm trying on the 90s Relax Jean High Rise. And I like, this is just a very interesting color, but I'm excited about it. Um, I like the style already. I like the bit of a wider leg on this. So here's to hoping we get another pair we like. Right, I really, really like these. I love the way they fit. They're actually super comfortable on. Um, oh, are these all tall? No, they're regulars. I guess uh, nothing came in tall. <laughs> I thought I ordered everything in tall, but I, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, kind of a bummer. But I like these jeans a lot and I'll probably still wear them just because my plight is having jeans that are too short. But I wanted to say the main thing, the main difference that I noticed of the fit 
is this bit of gapping. So one thing I do love about the Curve Love is they found a way to like eliminate this gapping here with their like proportions. Like they make it a little smaller in the waist, a little wider through the hip and thigh. So if waist gaps are a problem for you, like they are for me with this booty, then you may want to explore the Curve Love. I do really like that about it. I think I'm gonna leave this on and try on the shirts I got. I got this really, really, I wish you guys could feel this. It's so soft, this really soft, soft, soft bodysuit. Okay, this looks so much more complete now that it's part of an outfit. I should have tried the jeans on with the shirt. <laughs> I forget how it like lets you visualize a little better. Anyway, this is so soft and comfortable. I got an extra large. I love this square kind of neckline and I think it's really gonna look good, especially with like jackets and blazers because it's gonna kind of like create a little negative space on the chest. I can't say words today, who needs them? So I'm actually just gonna throw on a couple of the like shirts and vests and stuff that I got. So, okay, one of the fall staples I feel like I'm suggesting to everyone is a faux leather button up. I just love it. They can work as like a shacket. They can go from work to the weekend. They can look cute over like little yoga outfits. And I got this in this kind of color, but I did see at Target, they also had them in like a cream color that was really, really cute. They have it in black at Abercrombie as well, but I really love this brown. And I just thought it might be fun to do like a little tonal story. So yeah, I got an extra large and I feel like it's plenty oversized, like it overlaps well. It would button with no like cinching. So it's a little bit oversized and I like that look. Ooh, cute. Love she hair. loves it together. So do I. That's what I knew. See, what I knew this bodysuit would do was give like almost like a tube top or like corset illusion with this straight acrossness. And I think it looks really, really good. How many times can I say that? I hope you guys agree, because otherwise I'm just here tooting my own horn. Yeah, I really, really like this. I think it would also be really cute if you like buttoned it and tucked it in. There's so many different ways. You could just do like a little this vibe. So yeah, this is one of my favorite kind of like fall winter transition pieces. Right now is a nice little faux leather shirt. You could also totally do a head to toe look if you had faux leather pants. You know I love monochrome head to toe committed look. But anyway. I will link this one. They also, like I said, have it in black. I think it's so good. Okay. Okay. We're loving this vest. I have the coat version of this from last year and I wore it in Seattle when I took Sparky to surprise him for his birthday. And I loved it so much, but honestly, it's not super practical here in LA because it's so warm. But now with the cabin, I'll need that warmth, but I'm thinking for like here in LA and like going to and from, it's nice to have like the versatility of having it as a vest so that it's like, I could wear a sweater under and it's still quite as warm, but it's not like too cumbersome and hot with the sleeves. So I love a puffy vest. I only have like one and then I just got a black one from Fabletics. It's more like the athletic though. They're both more of that like puffy coat material. And so I feel like the leather elevated it. I felt like it made it a little more chic, a little more sexy. What do we think? This is an extra large. I'll show you. This looks hella boxy right now because of the way I'm standing. But if you zip it, yeah, I just think it looks really, really cute. And I like the little cinched waist. I don't know. I just think it like takes something that is more just like utilitarian and like brings like a chicness and a style to it. So yeah, I will link this one as well, but I love this and I think it comes in other colors. Okay, so this is the wild card. I got this little squirt and when I originally ordered it, I ordered it with like an oversized little shacket to go with it that I thought would like, and I could wear it with tights and boots, but this alone looks really short and I'm nervous, but we'll see. Surprise. I actually freaking love it. I threw it on with this and I think it's so cute because it has bits of this color in it, but it's giving Chanel. It's giving like high-end tweed. It has these little shorts underneath because it's a skirt. So it makes me feel not so scared about the shortness of it. And it's not that that short. It is a bit short obviously for winter, but I would do it with like black tights and like high boots. And I honestly think it's so cute. This is one of those things that I wouldn't normally order, but I don't have anything like it. And it was definitely a surprise. Like I think I have like a 95% rate of knowing what I'm gonna love, what, what's gonna work and what's not. This was a wild card and it turned out well. So this is why I always say you never know until you try it. I know it can be scary, especially like I said, like with my jeans and I've like, know that I've gained weight and I'm just like feeling like a little bit uncomfortable trying certain things on, but it's like, you know, you gotta just keep trying and you have to know 
you just never know and it's not you it's the clothes and it's just like an arbitrary garment so anyway this is my little raw raw pep rally reminder to try something outside your comfort zone because you just might love it and last but not least on this haul is this skirt that i am in love with i think it fits absolutely perfectly it's really hard to find i think like slip dresses and silky skirts that like are cut for a curvy body and I think this one is perfect. I love the little slit here. Um, I got it in an extra large and I like that it's a little roomy um, because I can like, I can wear it higher if I want to with like a little cardigan or like a sweater or you can bring it a little bit lower. This is just could be styled a million ways. I love the color. I think that it's probably one of the best ones I've found fit and quality wise. I, I love it. I don't have enough good things to say about it. Sometimes they can gap funny here. This one just happens to really work well on my body. Um, yeah, so it's an extra large. I don't think they have it in another color, but they might. Um, but whatever, I'll link this one. And this haul was a success. There was only one pair of jeans I didn't love, and it was truly more about the like the cut and the like the leg than the rest. It was one of those jeans that I feel like I sit and wear it around and maybe even get them wet just like 20 minutes, and I love them. So anyway, you know, just uh, take what you like and leave the rest. If something doesn't work for you, no big deal. But I'm really glad I tried these things. I think they look great. Um, I do want to do show po as well, but I have to jump to therapy. So I have a challenge for you all. Whatever you're doing now, pause this video and do something nice for yourself, whether that's just like a deep breath, grabbing water, texting something kind to a friend. All right, that is my Abercrombie haul. I was hoping to do show po, but uh, we're losing light. And I think I'm just gonna make it its own video. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully this was helpful if you're looking for new fall denim or different layering options um, or just a reminder that it's okay if your body changes and things might not fit you one day and they might fit you the next and it doesn't matter because you are valuable and loved and worthwhile and it has nothing to do with your body size and usually it just has to do with the clothing manufacturer. So just some reminders there. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for being so like lovely. Oh, I forgot to wear my ring. Sparky hates it. I take it off sometimes when I'm washing my hand. I put it in this little tray, this little dish in the sink. But anyway. I just want to say thank you guys for all your support around the cabin and around the engagement and like this is just such an exciting season and I'm just so grateful that I get to share it with you all so I hope whatever uh, you brought into this space today you feel a little lighter you know sometimes we just need a reminder um, that we're great just the way we are and uh, I feel like showing up here and like doing this with you all is that reminder for me so I'm grateful to you all and thanks for being here and if you are new to my channel and you like this subscribe hit that little bell so you never miss a video we'd love to have you part of the community introduce yourself below find me on instagram tiktok i'm alex michael may across the board and i'll catch you guys next time bye